I'll assume you've read the passage already. With which of the following would the author most likely agree? And this is a type of inference. We need something that the author would agree with based on what is written in the passage. <clears throat> a, all of West's work um, was influenced by his urban surroundings. Um, well, you know, it's uh, certainly possible, although um, this the dream life of Balso Snell doesn't take place in an urban setting. It takes place in the intestines of the Trojan horse, so that doesn't really work. Uh, B. West was notoriously retiring and shunned the spotlight. There's no basis for that in the entire passage, um, so that's, that's not it. Uh, C. The writer's untimely death was a great loss for American literature. There's nothing that the author says that, su that suggests that the author believes that. Uh, just um, and it, it, as an inference, it does need to be supported by something in the passage. Uh, D. West was deeply sensitive to the travails of personal experience. This one's a little bit better because um, Day of the Locust takes place in Hollywood, where West works at, worked as a screenwriter. Miss Lonely Hearts took place in New York, which is where, where he was from. And um, then this other one, he said, was um, a protest against writing books. His last book was, again, related to his own personal experience, so that's pretty good. And then E, West's depiction of post-depression life was bleaker than Faulkner's. We don't actually find out anything about uh, William Faulkner's um, depiction of post-depression life. It just says that he was also a Hollywood screenwriter. So we can eliminate E and select D.